Hello and welcome to Weekly Works Spot on Gareth Thomas speaking to you from my bedroom. Today we're previewing the opener of the Indie series from Barber Maxwell Park, previewing Formula One from Emma for the Armenian Memorial Grand Prix, previewing the MotoGP race, the Portuguese Grand Prix in Port Mail, and reviewing the double header in Italy. So, the first race of the double head of the was on the Saturday. Race started behind the safety car. Exciting race. John Vern won that first race. The thing that surprised me was having the safety car to have the race started, which was a big disappointment, disappointment because I think it was not only dry enough, but safe enough to race, in my view. I'm no expert. But Obviously, if anyone can comment uh, below, because I have opened the comments in all episodes now, so you guys can now comment. I think, uh, in my view, it was just too dry for a safety car start. Also, with the end of the race, with a safety car coming out with four minutes to go, when Lucas Degrassi lost his drive so after causing both the Mercedes of... Um, the Fries and Vendon to collide. I think what they should have done in a scenario like that is red flag the event immediately, get the track cleared and then get it restarted with more green flag. We were, I can tell you, I was very, very pissed off to have the race finish under the safety car. We all want to see a green flag finish and what Formula E did by not giving us a green flag finish with drivers battling. That was an absolute, this absolute dumb arse of a move. And I have to say that was basically the dumbest thing that I think Formula E has ever done. They need to learn from American top racing like IndyCar and NASCAR that know what they're doing, especially IndyCar, because if there was a crash with four or five laps to go they would red flag it and restart it obviously i think in my view that was probably the dumbest thing for me he has ever done and they did the same sunday i've already forgot who, who won it but i know that at the end of those two races sam bird leads the title race and I have to say, second place in the first one got taken out in an instant, which was not his fault in that second race. But somehow, Sam managed to get through and go on to keep the points lead. Next round for the Formula E is the double header in Valencia in Spain. Next up is the IndyCar series. We'll be previewing the season opener in Barber. Season should have started in mid March at St Petersburg, but that got postponed because of concerns over the over um, the virus, especially the variants, because there are some variants and uh, some viruses around with of the COVID nineteen in uh, Miami. There also, um, and that wasn't the only calendar change. In December, Long Beach was postponed from its original date down to September as the season finale. That will make a cracking race. I'm very really disappointed that they put it on NBCSN because I think that was probably the most ridiculous idea. And if I was NBCS, uh, if I was the NBC Corp, move it to NBC because I think there was. An absolute ridiculous move to do that. Also, Barbara was supposed to be on September 11th, that being pushed back a week to condense the season schedule. A lot of drivers remaining. Three rookies, Jimmy Johnson, he's doing the road and street courses only, a seven time NASCAR champion. Roman Grosjean, who did lots of Grand Prix and seven podiums. He's doing the Road and Street Courses. He would have done the overs, but he's only doing the Road and Street Courses after this crash in Miami where he burnt his hands. That's got McGrocken, three times Supercars champion. He's uh, joined, joined Team Penske on a full-time 
basis where he's doing all the races so McLaughlin's with Team Penske, Johnson's with Chip Ganassi and Grosjean's with Dale Coyne a lot of faces around obviously it's going to be good to watch MotoGP the big news is Mark Marquez is fit and, we, and will be racing this weekend in the Portuguese Grand Prix at Potomac somehow what happens next? no one knows will Marquez be quick? all these questions that will be unanswered obviously of the two rounds, Johan Zarco leads the championship on a private Ducati. Obviously, we know that Potomel only once as a GP race has been held in. That was last year when Oliveira went away. What happens on Sunday? We don't know. We know that KTM and Ducati have got good hole shot device where the work goes low and bonf. They get good acceleration I think it's going to be some point it's going to be made illegal and maybe all of these will be running it before it becomes legal how will it be placed I don't know Formula 1 well before I mention Formula 1 about Portugal it's on the date where everywhere we were supposed to be in America for the, United, for the Grand Prix of the Americas for the MotoGP. That one has been postponed until a later date at the moment. Date still to be confirmed because of of the, the, of the pandemic. Argentina has also been postponed, obviously. That's why the second Qatar race was also on as a replacement date. What happens next with them? We do not know. We'll have to wait until August, September at the earliest to know if they're going to be on the calendar for 2021. Also, Formula 1. So, Aaron Imola, this weekend for the Emilia Romana Grand Prix. That date was, they were supposed to be in China, but obviously, not only the virus, but other things forced it to be postponed and moved to later in the year. I hope they cancel it, which um, I will not say, say out loud on the reasons, because otherwise this video will not be aired. So, f ones at Imola, Lewis Hunter leads the championship for Max Verstappen. What happens this weekend? No one knows. Obviously, the schedule for Friday and Saturday has been altered because Saturday the qualifying and final practice has been starting one hour earlier so that it doesn't clash with the funeral of his Royal Holiness Prince Philip, the Duke of Edinburgh. It's uh, Prince Philip's funeral on Saturday. Obviously our thoughts and prayers go to the Queen and the Royal Family. Obviously there'd be a minute silence prior to qualifying on Saturday and everyone will remember the Duke of the Prince of the Duke of Edinburgh with his nostalgic gaffes. Obviously, <coughs> yeah, we talked a lot about that sport, obviously. So let's close the video. Like, share, subscribe. These bits at the bottom to you which ones to subscribe. Remember, subscribe. I get more followers. You guys get more videos. I'm Gareth Thomas. I'll see you guys next Friday.